Lux Angus here. So this will be a quick topic about the importance of doing your own work. Well, as a beginner, it is important that you have something to start, you know, that you're doing rituals as prescribed or described by other practitioners, other witches, other occultists, you know, such. You know, it is very important to start there and to begin there, you know, to doing continuously on a daily basis your rituals, your practices. But there comes a natural point, initiation especially if you are initiating yourself more and more into higher echelons of magical integration, magical evolution, magical wisdom and all such, you know, that there comes the need to do your own walking. You know, because on the way on this path, you will feel inspired, you will feel drawn to certain entities and then you must come to the conclusion that throughout the stuff that you have learned from other other people that you start to design your own rituals even channel your own seizures and all such it is a very important step in your own evolution because this will bolster, this will strengthen, this will develop your authenticity, this will develop your own personal craft and understanding of these energetic aspects of these certain currents and deities and pantheons you are working with, you know, you don't, you just need the certain guidance from other people to a certain extent, you know, maybe by unexplored entities or, or energies or rituals that you personally don't know very much of, you know. But when you have gathered as much information, experiences and know-how, start to actually channel, design your own rituals. But because this will in actuality generate for your own personal being, deity, and serve more energy for you than any other ritual that you could ever copy and paste from other people. You know, because you are the originator, you are the source from this working. So you, you will benefit more so from it, you know, because it generates re in reality re really out of your own divine will, of your own divine inspiration, own divine self. So it makes sense that this will have more so an effect on you only just because of the ritualistic pre-immersion, you know, that the, the working that you, you do before the ritual is also a ritualistic aspect to empower this working as a whole. So, you know, this is a pre-ritual immersion. And you, when you are writing and consecrating and doing your own stuff, your own thing, your own rituals and sieges, I'm telling you, your personal development or my own experience is after that more empowered than you than if you would do other people's working. You know? But only to a certain extent. Like if you are growing and growing and doing it for years and years from other people's stuff, you know this natural shift from other people's stuff to your stuff will happen gradually. I'm like I'm experiencing experiencing it myself and I initiated through demonic magic through the darker magic through the whole sephrotic tree of life I stopped working obsessively with other people's stuff with other people's magics and start more and more and actually to focus on my own abilities my own inspirations and visions to work with these magical pantheons and stuff and deities on my own you know, but I think it is a natural progression. It is like a part of your growth to work with other people's stuff dominantly to a certain extent. But just listen to your own growth, listen to your own instinct and wisdom that it's, it is inside of your very being and you will know what is the best decision in each moment, in each session, in each cycle that you are going through on your personal journey of infernal ascent, you know, of infernal path progression and 
maybe even other pantheons of Pasi going to Reno. And other than that, Naga bless, and we shall see and hear us again.